Hello and welcome. This video is to introduce you to Mandala Pictures. I'll explain a little bit about their history and significance and how they can be put to use. If you'd like to learn about making them, you should check out my other videos and head over to inspiredfornature.co.uk as I'm putting together some online and in-person classes on mandalas and other nature-themed creative projects. So what is a mandala? The word mandala is from the Indian Sanskrit language meaning circle. Eastern mandala art can be traced back to around the 4th century, but arguably the art form dates back as far as civilization itself, as circular art is found on cave walls and etched into ancient stone. Technically, a mandala can be made from any shape, but the circle is most common, and perhaps the reason is that it's the most natural shape found in this universe. The circle is complete. Like the cycles of nature, it's something that's both begun and finished at the same time. In Tibet, creating and concentrating on mandalas is considered a form of mind maintenance, the designs being symbolic of the universe itself. Buddhist monks sit for hours or days arranging the most intricate patterns using coloured sand. Which is even more amazing to me since after all that effort, the art is simply swept away. Psychiatrist Carl Jung is quoted saying, A mandala is the psychological expression of the totality of the self and regularly used mandalas with his patients as he discovered that sometimes creative therapy worked better than purely talking. That's what I like about mandalas. Drawing a mandala is a form of meditation in itself. Anything that involves light concentration and repetitive motions is a great way to quiet your mind. After the design is complete, they can continue to make excellent meditation tools especially for those who have trouble visualising or sitting still without something to do. So there we are. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps you'd now like to go and make some of your own. They're really addictive and the perfect project for creativity building. If you'd like to learn about making them, you should check out my other videos and head over to inspiredfornature.co.uk as I'm putting together some online and in-person classes on mandalas and other nature-themed creative projects. Hope to see you soon. Until then, stay inspired.